Hello and welcome to Earth. I'm Grandma Mimsy, and I am doing the swatching of all the colors over the other colors uh, for the new polish release that is part of the Carrot Patch Spring Nail Stamping Bundle. The bundle includes three plates, the Lucky Shamrock M455, Carrot Patch M465, Meadow Magic M466, a three-piece set of stamping polish that is the Sun Shower three-piece cream stamping polish that includes Rosebud uh, B507, Marigold B508, and Bluebell B509. It also includes a limited edition Ice Cube Stamper and Scraper set of Lovely Ladybug. Um, all of these are available as the bundle set uh, and as well as individually. The plates are available individually. The, um, the polish is available as a three-piece set as well as also individually. And the stamper and scraper, while limited, um, is also available individually. So if there's anything in this set that you just want one item, you can, or just a few, you can mix or match and get just the individual ones you would like to have or the whole piece. And I recommend the whole piece because it's a, a much better deal. So uh, the polishes uh, are part of a set, uh, again, available individually. And uh, I have done the individual swatchings of each of the colors that is available. All of these are currently available uh, on the website while supplies last the bundle. Uh, will eventually go away, but the uh, individual items could potentially be a part of the uh, consistent line. I don't know how permanently that will be available. So um, I have set up the um, <clears throat> the swatch sticks. They're all painted. They're all dry. They all have double coats. They're all ready to go. Um, I'm using an unrelated plate just because I like the images. Oh, let's have some light on the occasion. Wow, that makes things so much better. Um, I'm using plate M262 uh, because I like these images here on the bottom. Uh, this one, they all are, uh, depending on the etching, shows up the, uh, the images quite well. So we're going to move these over here. Go back to our little area and we are going to pretty much do these in order starting with the pink. Um, we won't do the pink over the pink but we will do the pink over these two. Um, you know what, right now we'll just work with what we've got there. So that is ready to go and this is mostly so you can see how each color works over the other colors so So the pink does not show up very well over
And yeah, it will show up over the purple. It's it's a bit of an odd oddity in that. I will put those over there. So we have done the pink over the other two colors. We'll swap this out. So now we won't be doing that. We will doing be doing the pink and the marigold. So the marigold sort of shows up over the purple. And as expected, doesn't really show up over the pink because it didn't show up the other way. And we'll move these over here out of the way. Oh, good thing we closed that up a little better. Okay, so now we will be doing the bluebell. Over these two. And you can probably pretty much tell what we're gonna end up with on those. I did miscount. I was thinking, hmm, this doesn't seem the right math, but
This is Doll Dance B226. Honeydew B471. Well, if you hear music or people talking, it is a nice day and it has got to the point there's a lot of traffic and whatnot going by and, well, that's just kind of how Vegas goes. Yep, my black didn't pick up. That's the one I need to adjust. That's just going to end up being a an icky smudge, so we cleaned up a little bit off of that so that we can have a nice clean transfer. So this is a straight up black B171 coconut B. 268 and uh, BAM white which is B170 and this is how they looked over this one which I like these colors over that shade a lot better than the others so that's how that works See, and then I have my two here these should be yeah slightly a little bit better So let's see what we can do with those and we'll clean up again.
And when you're doing a swatching of this or you're using different colors on your mani, if you happen to touch, you want to make sure you wipe off so that you are not putting that other shade, even microscopic mount, amounts, it'll cloudy things up and make them a little less precise. So we have the pickup. So the rose quartz didn't, you can see it, but it didn't quite come off as crisp as the others, whereas the doll dance is a little bit clearer. Let me get the, there we are. Um, it's a little clearer in um, what we're seeing and the, the yellow really did come out on that. So if you find coordinating colors within your collection or on the website when you decide to pick up this bundle, if you already haven't, then now you know what shades to look for if you're trying to find something else to go with that. So we're going to repeat on the blue bill. We got a little extra pickup from the black by mistake, so let's just pull that in and see what it does. Uh, the rose quartz also did not transfer well. Um, the blue, not so much. The yellow is a little bright, vibrant. You can actually see it, but I didn't like the way it it did on there. And then you can definitely see the black. Uh, let's see here. I'm sure the white will be an improvement. Yes, the white looks very nice on the bluebell. And let's use the excess on the pink, just for grins and giggles. Yep, that's what I thought. So, try and pick these up. without touching or smearing. You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Oddly enough, do a quick cleanup. Move this out of my way so I can set it. When you're cleaning up your tools, which I recommend you doing, I know a lot of people it's like, oh, I'll clean up later, but it's easier while it's still wet. It's just my, my opinion. If you don't mind the, 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 it being more work later on, that's, that's your choice. Okay, so we'll put all of these down here. Put all of our colors back. Put our happy sign back. Whoops, see this is why we're trying not to touch. Good hands caught that. 
grab some cards because I have found that when I want to save some it's easier to attach them to a card and then this way you will be able to see the images so much easier These are one of these things though that, to be honest, if I had just one extra hand, would be nice. put them in any specific order just so that you can kind of get a closer up view because at this point they are all mixed up and that's okay it's just a matter of being able to hold on to them Oh, hey, we did it. We're going to get all of them on one card. Woohoo! Cooking with gas. Okay, so there we are. Now, you know, we'll do it this way so you can see. And this is the bluebell over the rosebud, the uh, marigold over the rosebud, the bluebell over the marigold. The marigold over the rosebud, marigold over the bluebell, and the different shades of the other ones that, oh, and then that's the rose gold over the marigold. I almost forgot that, but there you go. I hope that helps you to see the distinction of how the colors play with other colors. Um, oh, I forgot one. There we go. I didn't get them all on, but you know, I could probably do it like that. There we are. Um, if you are able to get you a color wheel or make your own, 
Um, that way then you understand which co colors will coordinate because those that are at the opposite sides um, will contrast and will work well with each other. So that kind of gives you some insights into nail stamping art and how to make things work on your nails. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, I appreciate all my subscribers and followers. Please subscribe uh, so that you get the notification of the next video. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that very much. Um, it helps my channel and helps me along the way uh, to uh, reach more people and share the things that I know and uh, understand. And I also appreciate all the comments and questions because that helps me to be a better presenter in the things that you're interested in learning how to do. This for me is uh, my, my wacky, crazy nail art, nail therapy, Zen stamping journey that uh, helps me and my person, um, the, the me of me that is my person, uh, Hubster is my other person, um, along with the pampered princess Cujo puppy, who's six now. Um, I sometimes have to do the math. Anyway, um, but she's always, she will always be the puppy because uh, she's just too stinking cute. Um, but uh, this uh, helps me in, um, it, it, I've, I've said it before in, in uh, comments and in other ways, it, I either spend the money on this and take care of me and this comes into self-care or I spend money on the mental health and the prescriptions. So uh, th this this is more in enjoyable in my opinion. Um, so uh, I appreciate all those who are helping me in this journey to have it become something more because there's way, way too many people out there that don't know what they want and they're angry and they don't know why they're angry. Well, I could give them the answers, but no one likes to be told these things. So we're going to lead you to help you figure out your own answers. The world needs more kindness because there's just not enough love and empathy and understanding going around. And if um, you encounter someone who is in the Misery Loves Company Club, by all means, uh, you know, those are the people that need the most love, care, understanding, and empathy. Because sometimes they don't even know that they're in the club. Misery loves company and they're always recruiting. Don't let them recruit you. Bring them over to the other side. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Bye.